Cartier, your organisation is a pressure group opposed to current methods of recycling ships. Why? Um, we are not opposed to all methods of recycling ships. We are opposed to the practice that is called beaching, which means uh, beaching a vessel into tidal beaches of uh, South Asia and taking the ship apart by hand by unskilled and trained workers uh, that uh, are often migrant workers that come from uh, the poorest uh, areas of uh, South Asia. And um, unfortunately, with this, this practice, with the beaching practice, it is impossible to contain environmental um, uh, degradation. Uh, it's uh, impossible to contain the hazardous subst substances that are built in the structure of the ship and uh, they are uh, released into the coastal zones. Uh, it is impossible to, uh, to bring in um, resp uh, emergency response equipment. Will the new Hong Kong Convention on Recycling clean up the industry or are there simply too many loopholes? Well, we have uh, heavily criticised the Hong Kong Convention. We have rejected the Hong Kong Convention at its adoption in 2009. We're still criticising the Hong Kong Convention because uh, it does not uh, um, close the loopholes of the Basel Convention, but it creates new ones. It, is, it does not expressively have, um, provide for a ban or a phase out of the beaching practice. Uh, it does not uh, uh, take into consideration the definition of uh, hazardous waste, of waste that we have in the Basel Convention. So ships are considered waste, and of life ships, obsolete ships are considered waste. And uh, it does not um, uh, uh, include the obligation of the Basel Convention for uh, minimization of uh, transboundary movement of hazardous waste so that uh, developing countries are not uh, burdened by the waste. So and it does not include the notion on uh, uh, pre-cleaning of hazardous materials in OECD EU countries. The NGO demands that ships are pre-cleaned of hazardous waste, as you, you mentioned. But once the structure of the vessel is torn apart to remove cables, etc., how can it possibly be moved around the world to be scrapped in the Indian subcontinent? Yes, we demand the pre-cleaning of hazardous materials in OECD countries and um, ideally pre-cleaning should be done during the life cycle of a ship um, so that uh, ships will cost uh, even before they're sold so that uh, ships will cost more and this cost will internalize. Towing is possible, we have uh, talked with uh, experts that tell us that towing is possible. It's possible to clean the vessel up to 90% and then still make it seaworthy so that um, it could be towed to its final destination. You've been critical of the IMO's role uh, in a Norwegian project to aid recycling in Bangladesh. Isn't it <coughs> vital that such countries receive both financial and knowledge-based uh, support? Yes, it is vital that they receive a financial and knowledge-based support, but to invest in uh, tangible infrastructure to be able to move the, the ship breaking uh, off the beaches into dry docks, into other uh, using other methods, and uh, even a pier uh, could be an option. Of course, these are tidal beaches, so the best option would be a dry dock.